Hey guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, nice to meet you. My name is Kaylee and I am a reseller of used clothing and I sell on sites like eBay and Poshmark. Today I am doing a haul video of some items that I picked up on my most recent sourcing trip. And the focus of this haul is really going to be to talk about some key factors in items, some features that you can look for without necessarily having to get a really good brand that still makes a profit. So let's jump into the haul. Okay, so I want to start by saying that this is pretty much just a hodgepodge of items. I have mainly women's tops here, and then I think I have like one men's pair of jeans that I picked up. So just to let you know. All right, so to start is one of my favorite fabrics to pick up. This is a chambray top. Chambray, chambray is like a very lightweight fabric that mimics the look of denim but isn't as heavy as denim. So this is J Jill, size small. This is a cold shoulder chambray top. I pretty much dresses, tops, basically anything with this fabric. I have really good luck with, so if it's a decent enough brand, I'll almost always pick it up. I also like the distressing fringe details on the edges, so I think that this will do pretty well. I'm going to ask between $25 and $30 for this one, probably closer to $25. Next is an unbranded women's caftan slash poncho top. I picked this one up because I really like the bohemian style. I like the white and the navy blue together. It's got a bunch of embroidery, some tassel details, and then fringe all along the edges. This is probably something I'm going to put bohemian um, festival in my title. All great keywords. Nothing too special on the back. I'm going to guess the size. I think it's like a size small to medium. Not really super well made, but really on trend. I'll probably ask about 20 to 25 for this one. Next is a t-shirt brand that doesn't bring a ton of money, but I almost always pick it up whenever I come across it because they flip so quickly. There is such a following. So this is a Life is Good brand. The style is called the Smooth Tea, and it's got a cute little graphic on it that says peaceful. I think I'll have to look up this specific style. It might go for more, but usually I can sell these between $15 and $20, sometimes more if it's more rare. This one might be, but I'm thinking I'll probably list this around $18. Next is American Eagle. This is the line Amazingly Soft. I like picking up American Eagle lately. It's starting to be one of my bread and butter brands, but I'm pretty careful about what I pick up. It's got to have some substantial factors to it. In this case, this is a sweater. Like I wouldn't just pick up a basic tank top in this brand. This is a really nice long sleeve forest green sweater. And I don't, there might be wool in it, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter. This um, style line does really really well for me i'll probably ask 25 dollars for this and even though it is warmer weather i'm going to expect this to sell pretty quickly um, another reason i picked up is because it is a size extra large this next one is a brand sold at bke this is red oh, focus for me red by bke size large this is just a cut out tank top I actually got this for myself without trying it on, but it doesn't fit exactly the way I want it to, so I'm going to sell it. But typically, um, these cutout tops do pretty well for me, especially if they're in a well-known brand like BKE. I'll probably only ask 20 to 25 for this one. All right, this next sweater is by Loft. I don't pick up a ton of Loft, but the reason I picked this up was because it has merino wool in it. It's a really nice thick sweater and it has surgeon cuffs. So these actually completely unbutton and I've never seen that on a sweater before. Um, these are called surgeon cuffs and this is like a lighter design of a surgeon cuff, but I'm still going to put it in the title. And I think that this uniqueness of the sweater will help sell it. Um, I paid very little for it. I'm hoping to sell it for probably only like $25, but I think it'll flip quickly with all those details. Next is a brand I'm not really familiar with, but again, kind of the theme of this haul is that you can pick up things that aren't a well-known brand if they've got enough factors going for it. And this is the case with this top as well. The brand is Cape Juby. I did try to do comps on it. There wasn't a whole lot there, but I like the embroidered 
peasant top. This has a gauzy like material, long sleeve, really lightweight and flowy. Cream colored. This is just really on trend. I'll probably sell this for $25. This next one is by Lauren Ralph Lauren and it is just a t-shirt. It's got a little bit of branding on it which is one of the main reasons I picked it up. It's got some lace-up kind of shoelace details crisscross in the front here. Red, white, and blue, and really good color scheme. I've sold pieces like this from Lauren Ralph Lauren before for about $20 to $25. So I've just got experience selling these kind of things by this brand, which is why I picked this up. Again, another brand that I haven't really heard of before. It is called The Great. I did see some good comps for this, um, but not a whole lot. But I picked this up because I liked the pleating detail right here and then it's kind of like a trapeze peplum top with some uh, lace at the bottom it's got a little bit of different variations of gray slate gray color to give it some interesting detail and it's also got buttons along the back for all those reasons, I thought this was just super on trend. Again, I'll pick up pieces if they're on trend, even if they're not a significant brand. And I think this one will also sell for $25. These next two tops are by the brand Chico's. A lot of people pass on Chico's, and to be honest, I pass on most of the things I find by Chico's. They've got to have an interesting pattern, an interesting style. I won't just pick up basic pieces, but some of my best flips... My highest grossing flips have actually been by Chico, so it is a brand that I'm on the lookout for in certain pieces. I picked this one up because it has an interesting multicolor pattern, um, a little bit of eye cat going on there. It's also a roll tab sleeve, so an adjustable sleeve. You can wear it long sleeve or quarter length. And for those reasons, I picked up this button-up shirt. I can usually get um, shirts like these between 25 and 30 Again, another Chico's item. This is a blazer by Chico's in a size 3, which is, I believe, an extra large. Um, I'd have to check their size chart, but they have vanity sizing. But this is a larger size than Chico's. Again, iCat print, interesting colors. And this is actually made out of linen, which is another reason that I picked it up. I'll probably sell this one for between $30 and $35. Next is the brand Massimo. This is sold at Target. Again, not a very high grossing brand in general. But this is a chambray chambray material again, like the first item I showed you. And I really like the different patterns along. I've sold shirts like this really quickly for about $25, so I picked this one up as well. This is the Boyfriend Fit. Next is a brand I just learned about, and it is called Earth Positive. I don't know much about the brand, but every time I come across a brand known for sustainability or that recycles materials, I almost always pick it up. They tend to do very, very well for me. So without looking into this very much, I went ahead and picked it up. It's a crew neck sweatshirt. It's got a thumbprint heart on it, or I guess you could say it's like a tree stump. Um, but it says organic Raka on it. And I have a feeling that this will probably do pretty well. Um, even if it was unbranded, I think I could still get 25 to 25. 20 to 25 dollars for it but i'm going to do more research into the brand but if you come across brands known for sustainable clothing they're almost always a good flip for me okay and we've got just two more pieces this one is a pair of jeans by gloria vanderbilt again not a high-end brand but this is a camo print it's got some embroidery and it is a size 18 wide in the Amanda style, which is one of their most popular styles. And it's a plus size. So for all those reasons, I picked up these jeans. I got them inexpensively and I hope to sell them between $25 and $30. Again, just goes to show that some lesser known brands that you may be coming across, if they have the right factors, may actually be able to make you a profit. And I like showing stuff like that because not everybody comes across great brands at thrift stores.
And lastly are these pair of men's jeans. This is the brand Rock 47 Denim, which is actually a line off of Wrangler. These are the Slim Boot. What attracted me to these jeans is, as I talked about before, the contrast thick stitching right here. Um, I did do a little bit of research looking up the solds on these jeans, and they seem to be doing pretty well. I'll probably sell these for $25. And it had some interesting back pockets as well. All right, guys, so that is it for today's thrift haul. I am going to get to photographing all the items I just showed you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a happy and productive week. I will see you guys in the next one.